Thanos. So today we're taking cake and fondant and we're going to turn it into a Thanos cake. It looks pretty sick. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. My name is JK Denim and today we are creating a Thanos cake. It turned out so good. And I created this cake in my old studio and I created it in October when I was doing all of the Marvel zombie cakes. So this was supposed to be one of the zombie cakes but I realized I hadn't created a Thanos cake so I decided to just make a regular version. Now to create my Thanos cake, I'm starting with a cake I baked in my skull cake pan. It looks like it's gonna be red, but it's actually purple on the inside. Electric purple. Now we're starting with all the cake basics. I've got icing in between my cake layers. And then I'm going to add a crumb coat. And then I'm gonna to start to work on shaping Thanos' face. Now looking back at this footage, using my skull cake and just my skull cake was a mistake. It was good to get his eyes in place and his nose and his mouth, but his chin. This skull cake does not have a strong chin, just like me. <laughs> if you are gonna be creating this cake, you can use the skull cake pan to create the top of his head, but you probably wanna use more cake to create his chin area. His chin game is super strong. Now after I added fondant underneath to create his chin, I covered my entire cake with a large piece of violet fondant. Hey, oh my gosh, it's already scary. <laughs> I haven't even started using my fondant tool yet and it's already looking scary. So I pushed all of my fondant into the crevices so he has some nice deep eye sockets. I started to work on his nose, then I started to shape all of his wrinkles. Now as the like, Avengers movies progress, they had different versions of Thanos. And it wasn't until we got Avengers Infinity War that we got a version of Thanos that looked more like Josh Brolin. And I tried to make my Thanos cake look as close to that version as possible. So I gave him some really nice thin lips and then I started to work on all of the wrinkles that are on his chin. All of these wrinkles on his chin, it looks like a purple uh, garlic clove. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just want to peel it back and just chop it up. Now the chin was probably the easiest part of this cake. The hardest part is always the eyes. I had to make sure that they weren't too big. Usually when I'm creating this cake, it's really easy for me to make the eyes big and then it looks too cartoonish and less realistic. So I tried to keep them small. Thanos has really small eyes actually. I don't know if his eyes are smaller or if his chin is bigger. So it just makes all of his facial features look smaller. Now the early versions of Thanos, it looks more comic book accurate, but all the lines on the final version of Thanos kind of just look like battle scars. Like he got scratched by a kitty cat, like a big kitty cat. After I finished scarring up his face, it was time to add eyes. So I'm using white fondant and just pushing it into his eye sockets. Oh my gosh, his face looks tight. That looks so good. After that, it was time to start adding all of the armor. Now, when I was creating his armor, I actually didn't prep any black fondant. I thought his armor was just like all gold, but when I started to look into all of the details, I started to see all of the black. So we've got some black underneath, and then I'm going to be layering gold on top of that. I'm adding armor separately to each side instead of doing one giant piece. After that, I am hiding my center seam with more fondant. I could have just done this with one layer of fondant to create his mask, but I wanted to make sure that I had the volume correct. So I just had to keep layering fondant on top of each other to make sure that it looked exactly like the mask that he wears in the movie. After I finished adding all of my fondant, I painted my cake and voila, my Thanos was complete. It's so beautiful, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this guy's so handsome. Now, I kind of screwed up on this cake. I can't find any of the footage of me painting his eyes. And because I shot this like so long ago, there's no way to recreate it. But luckily, the sculpt of this cake is so well done. I'm just so proud of it. That I didn't really have to shadow any areas to make it look even more like Josh Brolin. All I did was just dirty it up a little bit with some black luster dust, add some gray to create his eyes, and voila. Is he your favorite Avengers villain? To me, it's either Thanos or Ultron. I think Thanos is way better, even though I really do like James Spader. I'm curious, would you like to see me make another Marvel villain? Because I'm considering doing Hela. 
Kate Blanchett is amazing and it would be so much fun to create her headpiece with fondant. So if you want to see me make Hella, let me know in the comments. Now comments. Now thank you for all the comments on my Green Goblin cake. I really don't know how to feel about that cake because I can see all the mistakes. But you're totally right. Only cake decorators would just like be able to nitpick all of that stuff. All of the normies who don't decorate cakes are not going to see any of that. But I do. And it still kind of bothers me looking at the thumbnail. <laughs> but again, it's really good to acknowledge all of my mistakes because I know that some of you are going to attempt this and I want to make sure that I give you as much advice as I can. Now, I want to let you guys know that for 2022, that's what we're in now, right? Is it February already? I don't even know. <laughs> now, I still have a lot of cakes from my old set that I haven't posted yet. So those are going to be coming out first. But for most of 2022, I'm going to be creating cakes that are covered mostly in the icing. Almost all buttercream, you know, except for like small details like the eyes and the mouth. I've done a lot of fondant work. As you can tell, I'm very good at overusing fondant. But I want to try creating some masterpieces with icing. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye. So here are some alternate takes and commentary that I think just got way out of hand so it didn't make it into the original video. Enjoy. So using only my skull cake pan to create this cake was my biggest mistake. It does not have a chin. His chin is so thick and I had to like overcompensate with fondant. 95% of his chin is just fondant. <laughs> Looks good. It tastes awful though. His chin is like the best and worst part of this cake. I love sculpting it, but yeah, it looks like an elephant's elbow. Thanos, you need to practice some self-care before you worry about everybody else in the universe. Think about yourself, okay? Before you snapped away everybody, you should have snapped up a bottle of cocoa butter and just slathered it all over that chin. It's so thick and ashy. Baby, you need to take care of yourself. Now creating this helmet was so rewarding. I mean, just creating a Thanos face would have been fine, but making this helmet just, uh, it sets it over the top. And I wasn't going to originally. Imagine if I let the laziness take hold and we just got the purple face. Oh gosh, that would be so disappointing. <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh.